Hello, good night, Sagittarius. Tonight is June 17th, and I have a message for you. I'm a little bit slow tonight. I'm on it. I'll be honest. You know, I was doing other readings, and I don't know. Maybe I'm just in a laid back mood. But I want to talk to you about what I'm seeing in the cards tonight because this is a very specific message. So hopefully, I'm hoping some of you can comment below if this makes more sense to you so I could kind of understand what I'm seeing from your point of view. But I'm going to try, okay? So to jump right into it, you've got the full card, Page of Swords. The nine of wands that this crystal has placed itself. I did not move it. It went right there, which told me something. And three of cups and the empress. So let's start with this first row. What this first row tells me, number one, is some of you have a reunion, some type of a family reunion coming up. You're not speaking about it. Um, for some of you, it could be a surprise. This is a female figure, maternal figure. For some of you, you could be taking a chance and reuniting with maybe a baby mother if you were estranged before, or your mother if you haven't seen your mother in a while, an aunt, sister, there's a feminine energy. So for some of you, that's who you're reuniting with, but you're not saying anything. You haven't told anyone. Okay, for some of you, you might actually have a secret that you're not sharing with this female, this family member, the mother of your children. Do we have any cups here? Yes, we have cups. Okay, so the reason why I'm mentioning cups is I feel that what you're not saying, what you're holding to yourself is you might feel a little bit, I don't want to use the word foolish but you might just feel a little bit out there and you're keeping that to yourself. Maybe some event, some course of action, something has left you feeling defensive. It's, it's got you in a position where you're not speaking up about something. You're keeping something to yourself. Okay? That's the first thing. Next, we've got Chariot. Hierophant, Four of Swords, the World card, King of Swords. What I'm getting in the cards is blocks, blockages. There is a block and it's not a mental block. It's you feel blocked in your life. Okay, so you know the chariot is about moving forward, setting goals. Sometimes it's about being torn in different directions and so forth. Next to the Hierophant, it's telling you to look where you're going literally telling you to look where you're going and at the same time is saying you're not looking where you're going this four of swords you're not looking where you're going or there's something that you're not looking to say but you need to say it or it could be you're looking to say something but you haven't spoken up about it yet right i think what you should be looking for is you should be out there online looking for opportunities you should be talking to god more or i think for whatever it is that you're experiencing you have been talking to god more but i get the feeling of um open your eyes you you need to open your eyes and examine certain truths and certain things there's certain things that you need to say you need to be a little bit more cold and clear with your communications. For some of you, you probably need to stop telling a lot of people your business. Like, you know, you need to sleep on certain people. Or maybe that's what you're doing. You're sleeping on certain people. The problem with your, your block, what your problem is, for those of you that this is going to resonate with, you have certain childhood issues, like your problems are stemming from childhood. Yes, cliche, you know, that's that's a cliche thing. But for those of you who've been through some type of childhood trauma, 
okay this is very real and you you know what i'm talking about i'm not trying to go like too negative or go too far down that rabbit hole but for some of you you've got like some type of childhood issue and it's kind of like holding you back from your stability you've got six of cups nine of pentacles ten of pentacles seven of wands nine of swords so it's your thoughts keeping you up at night another cliche phrase but it's also what's inhibiting you and blocking you from what should be your enjoying your nine of pentacles and your ten of pentacles your stability right so for some of you you've got certain blocks okay for others of you I think your stability would come from some type of a childhood dream a childhood goal working with kids here goes another cliche letting your inner childhood out some of you need to literally sit daydream walk down memory lane and find the good memories because that there within within that lies the keys to your happiness if you could put yourself back into that frame of mind you're gonna discover something about yourself some long lost gold shout out to this chariot card you're going to discover something that you've been sleeping on that's been in front of you and inside of you a higher power if you will that will help you achieve this nine and ten of pentacles for you okay um three of swords on the bottom three of swords two of cups king of pentacles i pulled a lot of cards ace of pentacles knight of swords what i'm seeing with these cards is again there's hurt here right there's hurt here three of swords is asking you to examine your ways of thinking and your ways of doing things that did not serve you that have not served you you're holding on to hurt you're holding on to guilt you're holding on to past burdens and traumas for some of you that this resonates with it's only when you examine this will it help you put yourself in a position that you love. It's going to help you be in harmony with yourself in this Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles position and in this King of Pentacles position. Um, for some of you, right? For some of you, it could be as simple as releasing the heartbreak, releasing the traumas, and moving towards a more stable union, moving towards harmony, moving towards a partner that is more stable and steady. Because for some of you, you can have an opportunity with a more stable person coming in, or you might elevate and become more stable yourself. Okay? Knight of Swords could be, you know, news of a better opportunity coming in for you like something might be coming in the mail documents extra cash just like something a little bit more sweet and it's just asking you to you know be discerning you really have to think let go what needs to be let go of and just find ways to put yourself into this two of cups mode it's kind of like what is it the feeling brings the blessing or something like that you could raise your vibration up a little bit more and come from a, a place of like harmony and peace and joy and love and all that good stuff then that's when we start to manifest and bring in the king of pentacles ace of pentacles i'm sure you guys listen to tarot cards tarot card readings all day long you really don't need an extra person dropping the, the keywords that you hear all day long oh manifest oh soulmate oh this oh that but i think if you can do some inner work because some of you have blockages you need to let go of the ghosts of the past in order to really you know discover your own soulmate within yourself for some of you this is an actual person coming in stable generous calm steady good action um good action good energy someone that you can talk to you can talk 
business with, you can make plans, you can grow with together, right? Sagittarius, this is an interesting read for you guys tonight. I don't know, what was it, last week? Some of you was like about to get laid and whatnot, but it's not always about that. It's also about healing, right? Because we can get laid seven days of the week, but at the end of the day, we need to be in a place where certain things are sustainable. And what keeps screaming out to me from these cards are blocks for some of you. Things that are holding you back. Can I dive deeper? What can I tell you specifically? I told you this was, I'm not trying to make it long. I pulled a lot of cards, but let's see if I can at least recap. So for some of you, there's something you want to say, but you're guarded against it, okay? For some of you, you're going to reunite with, you know, the person you had children with. You could be welcoming long lost family members back into the fold, okay? You could be moving towards that, but you're not saying it. For some of you, you need to look before you leap. Look where you're going. You need to open your eyes. Okay, look for opportunities. Be clear and specific in what you want. For some of you, the right thing to do for yourself is to cut certain people off. You know, like, you know, your Facebook groups and stuff like that. Start to really weed through it and eliminate who you don't need. Because some people, you don't need them spreading gossip, spreading your business because that's holding you back. All right, for some of you, for some of you, you're nursing childhood wounds, okay? You're nursing childhood wounds to the point where you're deep in it, you're stuck in it. It's, it's holding you in a place you don't need to be in, all right? For some of you, your money would come from some type of a childhood aspect, either working with kids, a childhood dream, a long dream. For some of you, I just heard it, wow, thanks. For some of you, you are using gifts in this lifetime that you had in previous lifetimes. So you're unlocking your past skills to now serve you in this lifetime. So it's like an attainment, nine of swords, nines are attainment. So for some of you, you're like holding fast in your attainment, all right? For others of you, you need to release any outdated ways of thinking. For some of you, it's about getting over past hurts in order to move forward into better desires, okay? 13 minutes in, and you know what? I hope I delivered every message that I was supposed to tonight. Have a good night, Sagittarius. Let me know what you think. I'm always here to answer questions. So if you need me to pull two cards and drop a comment below, I will gladly do so. And that's it. Happy Father's Day for you single mothers out there. Keep up the good work. Like just, you know, enjoy your weekend, everyone. Okay, good night.